Hello, and welcome to day six of the DIY Super Electric Longboard Scooter Build. Today, we start the electrical. I start by connecting the battery packs by taping them together so they don't move. Then, I connect them together with a fuse. It's better than using a metal strap or something to connect the two connections. Uh, it adds a bit of safety to the circuit and it makes the two 12 volt batteries into one 24 volt output needed for the motor. I'm now tightening down the fuse that connects the batteries and checking the voltages with my meter. So far so good. Now to prepare a fuse. Uh, you want the fuse to be as close to the battery as possible so if anything happens outside that area, then the fuse will protect you. I like to solder my electrical co connections and then apply heat shrink. Here I'm using a pair of vice grips to absorb the heat from me soldering to prevent the heat shrink from shrinking before I can put it over my soldered connection. When using heat shrink, I like to use a lighter. It's quick, easy, and available. Then I cover the whole harness in electrical tape. It adds even more security and safety. This wire goes to the charger or the motor. Be sure to catch day 7 as we finish off the electrical system for this scooter. Also, would you please consider helping our channel out and donating on Patreon today? Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, comment, playlist, uh, psh, everything else, whatever. Thank you.